Yay, I'm back. How do I make videos? No, <laughs> story time. Okay. Um, one day in February in 2019, I had this massive fever. It was a really high fever and it felt like I had the need to go see a doctor, but I didn't want to go to a hospital yet because it didn't feel like I have to, but I feel like I had to see at least like a clinic. So I went in for a clinic and they took some samples. I, I don't really remember what it was. And they, I turned out to be okay. They said, the doctor said I was okay. But at the same time, I still wasn't convinced that I was okay. They gave, they gave me prescriptions. But eventually the next morning, uh, my fever got higher. And at the same time, I grew rashes all over me. It was all over my body. I was having muscle pains. I was having joint pains. Um, it was just impossible for me to think that it was just a fever. So I wasn't convinced. Um, I later on was rushed to a hospital and they took blood samples and turned out that I was positive for dengue. Dengue is a mosquito-borne illness usually found in tropical areas. And symptoms are usually high fever, muscle and joint pains and a characteristic rash. It took me almost a month to recover because my platelets were really low at a time and I was really heavy on medications at the time. I think it was 10 dextrose in just a day. I was really, I was really weak. And this whole disease can be caused by two things, a single mosquito bite and a really low immune system. As you guys may know, um, there isn't any cure for this type of illness. And, and there's been a lot of this case around the world. Uh, of course, this is not something to, to be taken lightly as well. And people say that once you're diagnosed with it, after a while, you're eventually immune to it, but it will make it sound like you have nothing to worry about it. But this is not true. There are four types of strains of this virus, which means that you can get infected four times, which means that once you're immune to one strain, that doesn't mean that you're immune to the other three. Note to self that having to get infected just one time or just with the one strain can already be fatal as it is. So yeah, during that time, I was admitted inside the hospital. It took me a couple of weeks to recover and luckily, yeah, I recovered from it in 2019, but I wasn't able to get away from the fact that I still had really low immune system. So January 4th this year, I had another high fever. Um, I thought it was just a sudden changes in the weather or something, but eventually just several minutes later, I developed some really, really intense rashes all over my body. Um, I thought there were just allergies. I thought I might have eaten something that I'm not allowed to, that I didn't know. <laughs> but in just 12 hours, I felt like I had the need to see a doctor again. So I went in to see a doctor. The doctor, she took blood samples, but she didn't went in for the testing because she was convinced that it was just allergies. And I'm like, okay. No, 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 they're, they're just allergies. You gotta have to take this. You gotta have to take this. You gotta have to take this. I'm like, fuck, okay, doc, fine. She was really fucking convinced. She was really convinced that it was just allergies. I'm like, sure, fine, sure, I'll have the prescriptions. I'll take a day off. And then Tuesday night, it got worse. Um, the rashes got worse. It got a lot more intense. I had swollen tonsils and my skin turned black and I wasn't breathing properly. I was lucky enough that my girlfriend was there. So yeah, I wasn't able to walk. Then I wasn't breathing properly. I got eventually got in the emergency room and they put me on fast drip and this time, this time they went in for a blood testing and it turned out again that I was positive for another dengue the second time. As soon as I heard that I was positive for dengue, I didn't think of anything other than the fact that I just like really wanted to get out of this situation. Like nothing else. I don't care. I just wanted, I just really wanted to swim out of this situation. Due to the COVID situation, there's been changes with the hospital regulations. Um, if I'm going to be admitted in the hospital, of course, I'm going to be paying for the medical expenses, which is already which is already expensive as it is. But at the same time, in addition to that, I'm going to be paying for the nurses' protective personal equipment. Every time they're going to be going in the room, that's another equipment. And I'm going to be the one who's going to be paying for their testings. Every time they go in my fucking room, I'm going to be the one who's going to be paying for it. Like. So every time a nurse comes in, that's one equipment, that's one testing. How much is it? I don't fucking know, but that's already expensive as it is. You know what I thought of myself? Fuck you. I'm like, fuck it. I'll just stay at home. I'll just recover from home as long as I have proper prescriptions. So then I knocked myself out for a couple of weeks. The first couple of weeks, I was heavy on amoxicillin. It was three 
much. Imagine 3,200 mg's of amoxicillin in a day for a fucking week. But at the same time, I'm lucky enough to have Stephanie taking care of me. I actually still, actually, actually still feel weird to be honest. It feels like I haven't really fully recovered from it because my, my system feels weird. All I'm saying is, I'm alive. <laughs> but just imagine the fact that I've had two fatal diseases twice. And the second time was eventually a lot worse. Why? Because my skin turning black was actually a symptom of hemorrhagic fever. Uh, it's a symptom that causes bleeding or bruising under the skin, which can cause malfunction and be fatal. Um, during, uh, during recovery, one of the doctors that helped me throughout the process actually told me that I was on 50-50, which is, it feels weird. <laughs> it feels really fucking weird. Uh, it still feels weird knowing that, and of course, it's a lot more weird that I'm sharing it to you right now. But I'm saying this to you guys because I know there's a lot of you guys are taking your health for granted. And I know this because I know a lot of you take sleep for granted. It's as simple as that. I know our bodies work differently. I'm sending this message to you because, because I don't want you to go to the same situation that I've went in. Treat yourself with more respect more than the way you treat others with respect. Um, at the same time, just treats sleep like religion. I fuck mosquitoes. God damn it. Fuck mosquitoes. Fuck you. And that's it. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.